What if there were a product that stabilized the earth, helped aquatic life flourish, encouraged natural vegetation to grow, and stopped erosion? You're looking at it right now, but you'd never know it was there. Engineered Earth Armoring Solutions from Probex. Erosion control solutions that don't compromise our environment. Our environmental vision begins at our manufacturing and distribution facility in Ringgold, Georgia. It's been ISO 14001 certified for more than a decade. We maintained that certification through uh, a third-party auditor who will come into the facility to do an in-depth analysis of our processes to make sure, first and foremost, they're effective, they're continually improving, they are supported by top management, and they find opportunities for us to improve. These annual audits have led to improvements such as repelletizing unused polypropylene and implementing energy conservation initiatives. We made major strides with motion sensor technology for our warehouse lighting and our facility lighting as well. Uh, that means the lights are on when they're in use and they're not on when they're not in use. Propex leads the industry in sustainable manufacturing. We were also the first to verify the carbon footprint of our High Performance Turf Reinforcement Mat, or HP TRM, by an independent third-party organization. We worked with SES Global Services, which is an international certification um, company. Um, they work with international standards and we work with them using the greenhouse gas protocol and then international and British standards to develop our carbon footprint. Cradle to grave, Pyramat's footprint is 2.7 kilograms of CO2e per one meter squared of material. Concrete-based alternatives and rock riprap are 10 to 20 times higher. But plastics have impacted our oceans and waterways. That challenged us to evaluate our products. HP TRMs are designed for long-term or even permanent solutions. Um, Pyramat 75 specifically is designed to last for 75 years against uh, daily UV exposure. And if it's uh, covered or vegetated, it will last even longer. The difference? Pyramat is an engineered plastic that's stabilized, making it a long-term solution. Water bottles and plastic bags are single use. They break down immediately forming microplastics and leaching harmful chemicals. Pyramat 75 is made from polypropylene and studies have shown that it doesn't have any leachable components, whereas single-use plastics are made from polymers that are very difficult to stabilize and they do leach um, and break down into microplastics. The biggest benefits of our erosion control products are seen after installation. Sedimentation and pollutants decrease. Water infiltrates the groundwater table. That's why the EPA identified HP TRMs like Pyramat 75 as a best management practice for improving water quality. Mountain Creek flows through the community of Red Bank, Tennessee. The pollution levels exceeded the state's water quality standards. About 10, 12 years ago, the state of Tennessee said this creek was dead. This was a dead stream because of all of the development going on around, it had completely smothered everything that was alive in this creek. Additionally, a severely eroding slope jeopardized the safety of an access road and an outdoor classroom for a nearby elementary school. The Propex engineering team designed an engineered solution to stabilize and armor the slope while also encouraging growth of native vegetation. It's not a block to vegetation, it's a block to the erosion, but it allows lots of vegetation to occur all the way through it. And that's the best thing about this is because you need those native plants to also help control the erosion. Now there's a living shoreline that creates a healthy environment for the stream's aquatic life. A few weeks ago, we did a fish survey of the creek. And while it was deemed dead 10 to 12 years ago, we found an amazing diversity of fish and lots of fish, um, including two different darter species, and they are very sensitive to pollution and they need certain habitat requirements. So we're getting those back in Mountain Creek. And the double cool thing is because of the fish population in the creek, we now have otters in the creek. Because they've got enough food, we've got a keystone species now living in this watershed. And they aren't the only residents who are happy about this outcome. 